Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to quickly review four different free VPN services. To use Hotspot Shield you need to download and install their VPN client. The Hotspot Shield client took a bit longer than usual to install and caused a bit of lag on my computer as well when I was using it on Windows 7. Also, every now and then Hotspot Shield would launch my browser to their website, which I found slightly annoying. But since it's free, you do have to put up with some amount of nuisance. I just think that they could have made the user experience a bit less annoying. Hotspot Shield also only has one country in their free server selection, the United States. For some people that might be okay, uh, but with the NSA scandal it does cast some doubts on how secure their free service is. On the bandwidth test they scored average with around 4.4 megabits download and 540 kilobits per second in upload speed. Speeds may differ depending on your internet connection. I give Hotspot Shield a 4 out of 10. TunnelBear is a fairly new VPN service that also requires you to install a client on your computer or mobile device. For some reason it took me ages to install it on Windows. Uh, must have been like 15-20 minutes or something along those lines and my computer is pretty fast. Uh, the software itself doesn't have any adverts or spyware but you do have to sign up for a TunnelBear account with a name and an email address which may be a problem for some people who want to preserve their anonymity. However, I guess nothing is really preventing you from using a false name and disposable email. You also have to verify the email by clicking on a link in a mail that's sent to you. TunnelBear does have a bandwidth limit and it's fairly small, only 500 megabytes per day. You can however get an extra gigabyte if you promote them on Twitter. So you're not going to be watching a lot of YouTube videos or consuming other types of media, but it's still good for browsing simple websites like Reddit, uh, chatting and email. The connection speed of TunnelBear was fairly good at around 15 megabits download and 760 kilobits uh, upload speed, but of course speeds may differ. I give TunnelBear a 6 out of 10. VPN Book is a free VPN service that does not require any software download. You can use it with PPTP or OpenVPN. I've been having some problems with OpenVPN lately so I decided to try it out on PPTP. You can get the connection details including the VPN server address, username and password from the front page on their website for five different servers. Two in Europe, two in the United States and one in Canada. I assume the passwords change every now and then but cannot confirm that, so you may or may not have to check back ever so often for new passwords. To set up a PPTP a VPN connection, you have to go to your network and sharing center on Windows. Click on set up a new connection or network, then choose connect to, to a workplace. Select no create a new connection, uh, choose use my internet connection. Then enter the VPN details and a description for the connection and click next. And finally enter the username and password found on the VPN book website and click on the connect button. With VPN book there are no restrictions but in the bandwidth test it scored below average at around 2.5 megabits download and 540 kilobits upload speed. But considering there's no annoying adverts, no registration and no restrictions, I still consider it a fairly good service. VPN Book does also have a dedicated VPN server uh, service available should you choose to upgrade to that. I give VPN Book a 7 out of 10. CyberGhost definitely has the best free VPN service available right now. There are some restrictions however. You have to install their VPN software on your computer or mobile device and every time you log in you must watch uh, around 17 seconds of advertisements. Uh, there's a limited number of servers and only a certain number of clients can connect to a server at any given time. So sometimes you may have to uh, queue to get access to a free server. Also after 3 hours of continuous surfing you will be disconnected but you can reconnect immediately afterwards. That being said, there are no bandwidth restrictions, they have over 70 free servers in many different countries and CyberGhost doesn't keep logs so your privacy is somewhat secured even with the free service. Should you want to upgrade to a paid service, 
they also accept Bitcoin as a payment option, which I think is pretty cool. In the internet speed test, the download bandwidth for CyberGhost topped out at about 18 to 19 megabits and uh, upload was around 700 kilobits per second. This is the best download speed from a free VPN service I've seen so far. Also note that the speeds may be different depending on your connection speed. They could be better, they could be worse. I give CyberGhost a 9 out of 10. Alright, that's all for this video. I hope it was helpful. And if you did find it helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.